Hey, hey, everybody, and welcome back. So we are doing our second weekly check-in for the month of October. So we have our Budget Moms Filofax wallet here. We're going to pull out our cash envelopes. We also have our Budget Mom, our, our Budget Mom, our Erin Condren monthly planner, and we're going to flip to October. Yeah, we'll go this way. All right, so last time we checked in from the 1st until the 10th. Today we are checking in from the 11th until the 16th. All right, so first off, we did pay the cars. So we're gonna pull out our stickers for our bills. And I'm probably gonna have to double check exactly how much I put on each one because they're a little bit different. So, but we paid cars. I'm gonna put both numbers on here. All right, and then water. All right. Also paid that on Friday. It was 80, was it 87? I'm gonna have to double check. I can't remember. All right, so those were the two bills we really had left. Um, we will pay our last car payments and then insurance will clear probably on Monday here, because it's on a Friday. So that's when insurance will come out and then the last car payments on the 28th. And that'll be all of our bills for the month. Next up, we are going to see what expenses we had for this week. So first up, we have groceries. So we have two transactions for our groceries this week. We use red. All right, so I went to Harris. They had a few things that were on sale this past week. So I spent $72 at Harris. And then I didn't even realize James had ran out of coffee creamer, so he had ran up to Aldi's and got two things of coffee creamer, which came out to $5. So, right, let's see. So I went to Harris on the 11th. And then Aldi's was on the 15th. All right. So there are those two. All right, next up we have gas. We had two transactions for gas this week. We went to a friend's house for a birthday party and on the way back, I filled up my car and then James went and took his car. Now, we filled up at Sphinx and they're doing 10 cents back if you've used their app to pay, to pu pay at the pump. And when we stopped the first time, I had went in and got the kids, the two youngest ones, something to drink. And then me and James, and we had an extra 20 cents. So when he went and filled up, it was cheaper. So that's how much, that's how his is lower because our tanks were filled, or our tanks had about the same amount left when we filled up. So, but his came out a lot cheaper, which is awesome. And that was Sphinx. Let's see, that would be 68 total for both of our cars. And that would both on the 15th. Right here. Perfect. Okay. Let's see. I don't think I did any spending. Yeah, I haven't had any spending this past week. Okay. And then miscellaneous. Nothing. Okay. So those are the only transactions we've had so far for this um, this second week. Now let's see. We have a few days that we didn't spend any money. So the 12th, the 13th, and the 16th are all no spends for us. So we are now up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 no spends for the month of October so far, the 16 days. So we'll see how the rest of the month goes. I'm super excited about that. Now let's go ahead and flip on over to our weekly check-in kit here. So let's write in our date so I know when we checked in last. The 11th to 16th. 
Alright, first up we will do our groceries and see how much we spent. So we had 72 here and then 5 so $77 spent in groceries. Alright, last week we had remaining $534 minus the $77 leaving us with $457. Let's see, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 20, 40, 50, 55, 6, 57. So 457, so that is perfect. All right, for gas, we had the 68 spent. We ended the week last week with 350. So 280 left in our gas budget for this week. Oh, let's see how much we have about per week. So two more weeks. So still, we got a good amount for it. It's like two, over $200 if we divided it in half. But we're trying to do a low spend month again, um, using up a few things that we have at home in the deep freezer to kind of get some of that stuff out to put new stuff and kind of rotate that. So we're trying to use what we have here. Next week, I think it's gonna be a little bit more. Uh, um, our refrigerator's getting definitely bare, so we're gonna have to get some things to put back in there. So we shall see. Spending, I didn't have anything. So I should still have 35 that we had left over from last week. Let's see. 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Perfect. Okay, miscellaneous, we didn't spend anything. There should still be 50. Right, and there's our 50. All right, and then no unbudgeted. So we are looking really good on unbudgeted right now. But so, so far we have a good amount. Let me see, gas 282 divided in half. So as long as we stay around $100 a week in the last two weeks for gas, we should still have some money left over. So we'll see how that goes. And we haven't had any other transactions for sinking funds yet. Um, nothing else is going on. We're just trying to add a little bit to them when we can and go with that. But pretty overall, pretty good month. I need to fill in how much I put towards the car payment and water payment. I didn't write it down like a dum-dum. I normally have it all organized and wrote down, but I forgot when I started recording. It's fine though. Um, so eight days of no spend. So I will get my hair trimmed. I want to say it's the 24th. Birthdays on the 26th. Halloween on the 30th. So much fun. And our anniversary is on the 31st. So lots of fun things this last few, last two weeks of the month. So I'm super excited. But I really hope that y'all enjoyed this weekly check-in. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I can't wait to catch y'all in my next video. Bye-bye now.